Hey guys, Paulie Howard. I'm with Fox Sports Radio. It is Friday, September 11th. Before I tell you what I'm betting, time to rant and run. That's why we love sports and we love betting. He touched down with two seconds left for the Steelers. Puts the game on seven. Oh, you knew it was coming too. Taking their time. Are they just going to let the clock run out? Horrible clock management by Tomlin. All of a sudden, a couple big plays, and bam, they get there, and it falls on seven. Could have middled it. Went up to seven and a half in some spots in Vegas. Oh, boy, Antonio Brown's a beast. Nine for 133. You look at the yards, uh, 464 to 361. Steelers left a lot of points out there. The missed field goals. Tomlin not being aggressive and going for it. Hayward Bay should have had a touchdown wide open, foot out of bounds. So that's one where you know they didn't do a good job defensively. Please put somebody on Gronk. But they hung in there against the defending champs. They have a lot of things to work on and fix. They still didn't have Pouncey, Bryant, or Bell. So the Steelers will be fine. Nothing to hang their heads about with that one. And the Patriots, Brady was on fire. You don't want to tick Brady off. Here's some good numbers on Tom. Since the fourth quarter of the Super Bowl, through the Patriots' first drive of the second half, 32 of 36 for five touchdowns and 340 yards. Four touchdowns, zero picks in the game, 18th time in his career. He ties Breeze and Manning for the most in NFL history. He is 8-2 against the Steelers in his career, 24 touchdowns, three interceptions. He's never lost to the Steelers at home, uh, at Fox, at home, and 57-4 in his last 61 regular season home starts. Mercy is Tom the man. Those are some great numbers there. And uh, 25 of 32, 288 and four scores. Wow. Now they take on Buffalo, then it's Jacksonville and Dallas. And we'll see how uh, Belichick gets the team ready. A lot of things to work on, a lot of things to fix, especially on defense. I mean, you saw with no Revis, Brown, or Arrington, or Wilfork, gaping holes. And D'Angelo Williams had 21 for one. What do you have? 20, 21 for 127. So a lot of things to fix on defense for the Patriots. And, you know, Heath Evans said it on NFL Network after the game. They're going to have to outscore people, both teams, when you see how they played defensively. But a lot to clean up, and it's only one week. Time to tell you. What I'm betting, two featured pro picks up at pregame.com. Sleepy Jay's got his three-star college football knockout that goes tonight. It's just $5 get his three-star. Again, $5 for Sleepy doing a great job here at pregame. Uncle Dave, Dave Essler with his three-dime bonus in Major League Baseball. 62% with his three-star run on the diamond. couple picks you want to go with today at pregame.com. Handicapping the cappers. Trying time to uncover that hidden gem and bringing it to you. Uh... Up 24 units since we started here on pregame. We uh, like our pitcher going today. We're going against a guy who has been awful on the road and a team that's playing good ball at home. It's yours for just $20. Grab that. Two pros on this game, but for different reasons. Handicapping the cappers. Paulie's pick from the pros. A 7-day and 30-day th- uh, discount package is available. Save over 60% with that discount rate. Handicapping the cappers. The free pick before I get out of here. Always betting half a unit on this one. Sleepy J is on the Nationals tonight. Gio Gonzalez actually pitched well in his last few ball games. Nationals, $1.30. Read his full write-up and analysis and get all the free picks up at pregame.com. I've ranted. Now I'm going to run. Good luck out there. We'll see you tomorrow on pregame.com.